Thank you for joining Asgard in our latest how-to video. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to get backing up on your own. At this point, you should have already gotten your welcome email, which includes your username and a link to create a password for our portal. Once you have that completed, navigate to backup.management to get started. Once there, put in your username and password and log in. Once you load in, you'll be immediately greeted by your dashboard. To add a device, simply go to the top left to the big add button and click that. Select server or workstations or Office 365. Select regular backup for most of your standard backup needs, and then you'll input a device name. This is going to be an internet shorthand for your portal to help you identify machines in the portal. It has nothing to do with the actual name. And then you'll change the storage if you need to change the storage. Hit next. Now the device has been added. The first thing you'll do is click where it says one to download the backup manager and save that file. Secondly, each device name comes with a unique password for each device. This might be important during the installation process, so go ahead and copy that to the clipboard, and then let's run the backup manager. It should be done downloading by now, depending on your internet speeds. Now, during the installation, it may seem like your computer is doing nothing, but in actuality, it is installing the program. Once it is done installing, it will open up a tab to localhost colon 5000. This is where you can navigate to on local machines to check their backup status and how that machine is doing overall. During its initial load, it might take some time. Note here that we have already started on security code, which is step number three. Here, this security code specifically is for you to create a password for you to have access to this machine. Note that if you have elected to have restores done in the data center, Asgard will need to have a copy of this security code to initiate those restores. The next step is just picking a time for your scheduled backup. And then your report email, which if you want to receive emails, you can click the emails or you can leave it blank. The initial initialization will take some time to get started. So let's go ahead and skip a bit. Once the initial service is started, you'll be greeted by your local host dashboard. Here, you can see all sorts of different sources that you can add to the backup. Initially, nothing is selected, and you will need to pick what you want to be backed up. For example, let's go into Files and Folders and click the Add button. You can either select the entire file system or just the C drive, or F, or G, or any individual drives. The system state is something that will be needed if you specifically elect to have data store restores done on your behalf. The system state is what is needed in order to get the current image of the system added into our data center. So just checkbox that and hit save. From here, you can add any other sources or data stores that you wish into. But once you have everything selected that you want, just click Run Backup, and it will immediately begin scanning the files and getting an estimate for how long it's going to take. A quick overview of this, the Preferences is where you can go to check your schedule and change your schedules to add another daily if you wish to have more than one backup a day, or you could change your how often your daily backup goes. So going back to the portal here, you can now see that the device has been added into the portal. To get back to that backup manager platform, simply click on the machine and then click Launch Backup Client. See, for example, I will close this. It warns you about a security risk. And then you are right back to where we were. And obviously this is still scanning. And that finishes up our overview for how to get started with backing up. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at support at asgardmsp.com. And thank you for watching.